I never could do that. It's easy. No, Audrey Hepburn. No, it is not. Today we're going to learn the taxi whistle from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Apparently this thing is so difficult to pick up that they had to edit this sound in post-production. So, if you watch any tutorials online, which I did, what they'll tell you to do is stick out your tongue. Then use two fingers, form it into an A shape or a triangle, and then push your tongue back into your mouth, folding it over itself. From there, purse your lips around your fingers and blow, and voila, you have a taxi whistle. Except no, this is what happens instead. Now in theory, you can apply this technique to one hand and wind up with the same sound. And I don't know if there's some kind of whistle illuminati, but it feels like someone out there is trying to make learning this technique as bullshit as possible. Our first stop in skill purgatory is the bathroom mirror. That's because we need to see what our fingers and mouth are doing, and there's no way to say that sentence without it sounding a little bit disgusting. The good news is that this almost immediately starts paying dividends. After a few more tries, there's actually a reasonable sounding whistle. The bad news is, immediately afterwards we run into a brick wall and we aren't able to reproduce that sound again. However, I have some inspiration. If you guessed that inspiration was nut, then you are correct. Let's talk about acorns. Because apparently I know how to whistle in every single way except the one that matters. You can use the caps that you find on acorns to produce a nice, clear, high-pitched whistle. All you have to do is position your thumbs like so, form that same triangle that we were talking about before, and then blow into the gap. Practicing in the mirror gave me the idea that maybe there's more overlap between this technique and the one that I'm trying to learn than I thought. So I think the secret's going to be learning how to form that airtight triangle with my fingers and my mouth. God, I'm never gonna live this episode down. At this point, I was fairly certain that the cat was in the metaphorical whistle bag. That metaphor fell apart pretty quick. But the truth is, right now I'm only a half step closer to being the obnoxious loud whistle person that you find at baseball games. So, unfortunately, we're gonna need another breakthrough in order to make sure that people suffer more when they're around me. So if you're like me, then you probably remember growing up learning how to do the owl hoot hand whistle thing. And if you were like me, then you were really bad at it. Thankfully, as a child, I discovered that if you try to do this in the bath when your hands are wet, the entire process becomes a lot easier. My theory here is that that water fills in the gap so it makes it easier to get the sound that you want. This has started to feel like a long shot, but I'm really hoping that this also applies to the whistle that I'm trying to learn. If I wet my lips and my fingers, maybe I can get this thing to be as loud as I want it to be. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I really hate this stage. It's not because we lack the techniques or the tips. We have those. It's just that those things aren't enough to get us over the edge anymore. And that could be a really frustrating place to be. Where do I place my fingers? How many fingers do I use? Is it one or two hands? What angle am I using? How hard am I blowing? And wow. Yep. This is starting to sound like a very different kind of tutorial. We should probably move on. Hey, what's that over there? It looks like a very clickable like button. So I'm gonna stay here and whistle poorly, but I think one of us should go over there and tap that button. If only to keep us from getting bodied by the YouTube algorithm. That dude looks pissed. And it looks like our training montage is just about done. Let's see how we did. So, just in case you think I forgot, I did actually learn how to do the one-handed whistle. And, so it's fair, here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Me versus Audrey Hepburn. So, who did it better? You can be the judge. Let me know in the comments. 
personally, I think Audrey Hepburn's got me beat when it comes to the single hand taxi whistle. But if we're talking taxi whistles in general, and I get to use two hands, well, I think we crushed it. Personally, I'm just glad this challenge is over. It seemed like every time I got the whistle down, as soon as I went on camera, it would stop working. Between that and the hours of editing, I could not be more ready to move on. In the meantime, thank you for being here. Your comments and support mean a lot to me. And now, I'm going to go look for a new hobby. My ears are ringing, and it's time to go. Till next time, peace. Subscribe.